Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Whenever it's required to make the same editing changes to multiple tracks at the same time, it can be very helpful to use group editing for that, which got much more powerful in Studio One version 5. So I'd say let's take a look at that together. Okay, so before we get started here with all these sophisticated methods that we have available to group tracks together in Studio One, I want to show you just a very quick and simple way that you can always use whenever you just want to trim and maybe crossfade a couple of events in the same manner. So what you have to do first is select all of the tracks that you want to group edit together. You can either do that by selecting the first track and then selecting the last track while holding down Shift. This would also select all the tracks in between, which would make sense in my case, but if you want to do this more selectively that's also possible then you just click on the individual tracks while holding down command on a mac or control on windows in my case i'm just going to select the first of my drum tracks here and the last one which is track number seven right click and then pack to folder you can also trigger this from a keyboard shortcut it's shift and o for me but that's just my personal preference i don't think that it's assigned to a keyboard shortcut by default of course you can change that very easily in the studio one keyboard shortcut preferences and then i just hit this keyboard shortcut and now I have a folder for all of these drums. Now the advantage being that if I now want to trim all of my drums at say bar 113 for instance, I can simply select this folder track up here and then if I just split that I get rid of all of the events that are inside of this folder at once so I don't have to do the same edit six times or seven times over. Once I'm done, I can either just remove the folder again and continue working as usual, or I can also go ahead and assign this folder to a bus, which is very handy because if we call this drums now, we see a corresponding drums bus here in our mixer console. And then we have a very easy way to show and hide both the tracks as well as the channels in the mixer console by simply clicking here or here. Another quick and easy way for a temporary grouping is to make a selection like so. And then instead of packing it into a folder, you can just move the faders up and down. You can move the panning around. And that would also be a way of very basic grouping that's quick and easy. But what I want to show you today is the group panel, the dedicated group panel that we have available here in Studio One's Mixer Console. We can start taking advantage of this panel by making a selection of tracks that we want to group together. So for example, let's go with the toms and the overheads here and then hit Command and G on a Mac or Control and G on Windows. Windows to get this add group dialog. Now you can give that a name, for example, Tom's. Hit OK and now you can see and find this group inside of the group panel. You can also go here onto the wrench inside of the mixer to open up the console options and then tick the group assignment box. So you can always see which tracks are currently assigned to a group and which are not. And uh, here we can see the Toms currently have their own dedicated group. And what we can do here from the group assignment panel now is right click and make a dedicated selection what it is that we actually want to group. Do we just want to edit them in conjunction or do we also want to adjust volume, panning and so forth? Or do we maybe just want to link volume and panning and then just disable everything else? What this would look like in practice is that now I have the faders linked and the pan linked of these channels, but I could still make independent edits without affecting the edits of the other events, which can be incredibly handy at times. We also have options to link the inserts and sends together. This would then either adjust the send level in conjunction or add new insert effects for all of the group channels. So there's a ton of options here. I can only encourage you to try that out a little bit and see what works best for you in your own workflow. And don't forget about the awesome keyboard shortcut that I also want to mention to quickly suspend meaning to bypass or temporarily disable these groups which is option command and G on a Mac or alt control and G on Windows to keep the workflow nice and flexible right so now I move the faders together as soon as I suspend the group I can move them independently again and once you get the hang of this workflow it can be incredibly useful so hopefully this is something new that you can integrate into your workflow and thank you for watching